Hi, this is Sander from Unless, and today I will tell you why A-B testing doesn't work for most of us. Over the past few years, A-B testing has been very popular, but recently it has lost its mojo. I'll tell you why. A-B testing uh, is some form of split testing. It usually is about one page uh, to another to see which one performs best, to see which one converts more visitors into customers who buy something or become a member or so. Usually you can use the winner in your normal web flow to get more customers in. This doesn't work for everybody. I'll tell you why. If you do any test, it only makes sense if you can be sure that it is correct. It means you have to reach statistical significance. That's a fancy way of saying out that you need to be able to rule out coincidence. Ruling out co coincidence is actually very simple, but only for a really big improvement. For really small improvements, it's very hard to prove if it's coincidental or not. And the problem is that conversion optimization is almost always about the small improvements. The math is super complex, but let me give you an example. If you want to increase your baseline conversion from 4% to 6%, which is a relative uptake of 50%, which is actually quite great, um, you need a staggering 1600 plus people to visit each variation. And that still sounds reasonable, right? But let's say you want to increase your um, uh, conversion rates from 4 to 4.4%, which is a relative uptake of 10%, which is way more realistic. Then you need over 38,000 visitors on each variation. And you're not there yet, because let's say you performed your experiment during the week. In the weekend, it might well be that the rules of engagement for customers are entirely different. So you need to be continuing your experiment across the weekend to know for sure. And it's not just weekends. It could be seasonality. It could be the local news. It could be the Bitcoin crashing all of a sudden. It could even be the weather. So typically, A-B tests have to be performed much longer than you need to just read significance. So, what is the alternative for smaller companies? Let's say you have 100 visitors with 4% conversion every day, right? That's four people coming in as a customer. You can do your best with A-B testing to crank it up to 6%, right? You'd be doing really well, but that's still just six people. What if you would focus on a way to just get your number of visitors from 100 to 1,000? That would be 40 people uh, uh, coming in as new customers, which is way better than six. So what should you do or what could you do? There's many things you can do, but one of the things you can do is to use personalization rather than A-B testing. With personalization, you can make your um, landing pages for, for example, your Google ad campaigns super relevant for the people coming in. And Google rewards you for that with a higher quality score. And a higher quality score means a lower cost per click. And the lower cost per click means more visitors incoming for the same amount of money, which is way more useful for you as a smaller website owner. So spend your time and money wisely.